Okay, in this video we're checking out the Diatone GTR349HD version. Now this uh, frame design is actually the version 2 of the frame design with the updated canopy for the larger M12 lens of the Caddx Turtle. That's the Caddx Turtle V2. And we saw here on my channel this guy, this is the R249, the 2 inch version with the uh, version 1 canopy design and lots of jello as you recall from that video. And I believe I have the two and a half inch somewhere around here in a box, um, which is actually going to go to one of my Patreons soon. I didn't even bother making a video on that one because um, it's the same design as this and has the same jello issues. And that's because the canopy um, is bolted directly to the bottom plate and any motor vibrations are going to get into the camera. Now the split mini also has some inherent issues with the M8 lens. Um, as you know from my previous video on the M8 lens, it is very prone to jello because of little gl oh, glass parts inside there moving around. Um, if you do have that issue, go watch that video. Um, you can also get these replaced by Runcam if you can show to them that you have uh, changed all your props or whatever, done the work to alleviate the jello problems but still have a bad lens, and then they will send you the updated M12 lens with the new sensor and camera case. So you just plug the ribbon cable into the board and then you have the, the new M12 version of the run cam split mini if you had that problem. Anyway, not this is not uh, this video is not about this guy um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what the old version looked like and all the problems they had and what they did to fix those problems in the new version here and that is these silicone grommets here on the bottom. So as you can see in the old version, it was directly just bolted on now. I actually tried to simulate this. They, this is one of their ideas. Add some rubber O-rings here. And that actually, this did not, this did not work. I think that you need probably multiple layers and that's what they did here. As you can see here, there's a, uh, well, it's kind of hard to see. There's a screw, then there's a plastic washer. So the screw doesn't, uh, if you just set the screw there with no plastic washer, then it's going to go right through the silicon grommet. So you have that, a silicon grommet that goes into the carbon, and then also another silicon grommet there. That's all doing that vibration dampening in the front. Most That's the most critical part for the camera. And also here, the same exact setup in the back that goes into the back standoff. So this entire uh, canopy, as you can see, it just kind of floats. So, vibrations that come in through the motors and props aren't going, aren't going to go into the canopy, and then, then thus go into the camera. So, the point is, the Jello problems are essentially solved. Now, uh, there, you know, I did. You'll see some flights here. I did some flights in really bright sunlight. Um, for the most part, unless you're doing some really crazy moves, you don't really see too much jello. Now, there are still some issues with the tune. Uh, this was a this is a pre-production uh, release, so it has an early tune. In fact, I actually I think we're seeing two updates from Diatone with some newer PIDs that I tried out, and I, and they actually told me that their first set of PIDs that they that they've sent me are actually uh, optimized for 3S, not 4S. So I actually flew this on 4S and it was getting a little bit of oscillations. I will show you all those flights here uh, at the end, but on 4S and the PIDs that I got, it had a little bit of oscillations. So I'm thinking that the PIDs could be lowered a little bit and it'll probably be okay on 4S. I didn't really see any jello issues, but the it was more PID issues in terms of vibrations, uh, prop wash handling, that kind of thing. More PID related, not necessarily Jello issues. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, when I did fly it on 3S, um, yeah, it, the the oscillation noises and everything all went away. But I think that the tune uh, felt a little bit on the loose side. And I think this is going to be the case for a lot of these uh, micros and in general any kind of bind and flight that you get. They're going to tune them uh, more on the loose side versus right at the edge because because of manufacturing variances and you know, different motors, different props, different things are going to be in different balance. Frames are not all exactly 100% exactly alike. So if they tune one craft all the way to the edge 
of performance where it's not loose at all, then you're going to get a lot of oscillations and um, it's not, it could vibrate on certain builds. So they tend to dial down the PIDs a little bit. So if you feel like your PIDs are a little bit too loose, then just bump them up a little bit, maybe say uh, three or four points at a time and then fly it and see how you like it. Um, mainly you just want to increase the P, maybe a little bit of the D. Uh, but that, for the most part, I thought their tune was okay on 3S. Now, for me, I was flying on a 550 GNB 3S. On 3S, this setup does feel a bit underpowered to me because it is fairly, um, I mean, with the turtle and everything, it is fairly hefty. It's not light. So we'll just go ahead, I'll just give you the weight now. This compared to the one without the HD camera. So here's the, this is, it's coming in at 146.37. And then here's the original without the HD camera. And this one here, we're coming in at 137.28. So yeah, it looks like it's about, it's about 10 grams more for the HD camera, uh, basically HD edition. So yeah, it, it, on 3S it really does feel a little bit underpowered. You can still do the tricks and the flips and the rolls and all that, and it is still pretty fast, but you do feel the weight when you're flying it around. Um, so uh, I'm gonna work on adjusting the 4S tune. So I'm thinking that Dytone will probably put out a 4S tune at some point. They usually put out their tunes on their website and you can just update them yourself um, in the in the Betaflight configurator. E either that and or they may provide a PID profile once they actually release this and which by the way this um, probably will be out on Banggood in a week from now. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm trying to estimate where, when I'm going to put this video out. So you probably want if you really want to get this if you like it I uh, wouldn't if you're on a fence and you're like I don't know if I would get it or not uh, just go ahead and order it. Um, and if you change your mind, you can always cancel. But I think that there's like a pre-order line. And I think that the last time something I put out, uh, people were like, oh, I, when I went and I wanted to get it, it was all sold out and they had to wait like a month. So, yeah, uh, especially if like one of the bigger channels puts a video out, I think like if UAV Futures puts a video out on this guy, it'll probably sell out within like, you know, an hour. So if you see my video, if you're not really sure about this, you know, I would say get in line on the pre-orders, um, and they, if you change your mind, you could always cancel it. Anyway, a little, a little bang good buying advice because there is a sort of a cue for buying these, thing, these things. In terms of like, okay, well, <laughs> in terms of whether or not you should buy it or not, I think you be the judge of that. I thought the footage was good. I think that this new vibration dampening system does solve the jello issues. Now, for me, it's just a matter of figuring out what the best tune is for this. I have been kind of playing around with it. I, I'm going to be doing some more, you know, um, adjustments to the tune. I'm not really, I've been playing around with the forest tune. I'm not really happy with the one right now. So uh, I may update the description down below with the CLA dump with some updated PIDs that will work on forest if you're interested. So maybe stop by later, ask me if I have published those. I, I may do that down in the description. So but as of right now, today I'm not, 100% happy on the 4S tune, so just chill out, wait, I'm going to work on this a little more, and I will definitely let you guys know on that if you guys are interested, and do leave me a comment below if there's something that you're interested in getting. Anyway, so in terms of the rest of the specs, of course you got the Cadex Turtle V2 HD camera, 1080p 60 frames per second video. Um, a lot of the other parts here are the same as in the other, you know, Mamba series, I guess the GTR series, you know, you got the same... Mamba Mini Stack, you know, 20, 20 amps, um, F, F4 flight controller. Uh, you got your, I think it's the Runcam TX200U video transmitter. So it's like 25 and 200 milliwatt video, trans, uh, video power switchable. I believe the 200 milliwatts is locked on the, in the factory. So um, go to the Diatone website. They have instructions on unlock. I think you have to press the button and just plug in the battery and hold it for like five seconds, something like that. That should unlock it if you want to do 200 milliwatts. And of course, you know, the star of the show is going to be these Mamba motors here, these uh, 4,000 kV 1408. This is what makes this, the 349, uh, the speed demon, you know, so if you're looking into really fast flying and some nice acro on a little micro, 
that's going to be well under the 250 gram limit. Yeah, this is the this is the this is the power one that you guys are all looking for with the uh, built-in HD video, and it's and it doesn't have any jello. So I think that if this is the combination that you guys have been looking for, you know, like the the power the HD video and the small size under 250 grams, yeah, definitely definitely consider this one. This is um, you know obviously one of the few ones out there with the big motors. There are other ones with the smaller ones I think you know like the 1206, 1306 motors. But this is the big, I think this is the biggest one, the 1408s now with the uh, HD camera. There are other three inch micros with like bigger motors like 1507s and stuff like that but I think this is the only one that has the the turtle in there. And that's the, This is the HD camera that I would recommend. I would recommend that over the uh, split mini V2. Anyway you know bottom line is I'm, I'm much happier with this one versus my experience with the two inch one. I, I really think that these two inch ones with the HD camera are kind of pointless anyway. You're carrying around a lot, a big battery, a lot of weight, and the prop is just too tiny. It just doesn't feel like it's a lot of fun. You can fly around slow and cruise around, that's kind of cool and everything, but yeah, I mean, I, I would like a little bit more power than that. It's just, it just feels so underpowered. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, go to the three inch now. I. I was thinking maybe I'll look at the two and a half inch. If you guys really want me to look at the two and a half inch, which comes with basically the bigger two and a half inch frame, but these same 1105 motors. It's basically the same setup here, um, but uh, you just have a bigger frame to accommodate two and a half inch props, and then you get the turtle camera in, in this particular setup. So if you guys want to see that video, let me know, and um, yeah, I'll leave a lot of comments down below. I'll, I'll tell Diatone that you guys are interested. Um, they'll take a look at that and maybe they'll send me the two and a half inch version. If not, you don't care, then don't leave any comments and they won't send it to me. So that's fine. That's fine too. I don't, I don't really care either way. If you guys want to see it, let me know. And I'll, if they, if you guys make enough noise and I'll, I'll let them know about it. So anyway, I'm rambling on way too long for this video. Um, overall bottom line, I'm happy with it. I think that they did all the right things to, uh, fix all of the issues from version one. And, uh, I think I can definitely recommend this one. Uh, PID issues aside, I think that the, the, those things can get resolved. I mean, PID, PIDs are PIDs, so I don't think there's any fundamental flaw in this particular design now compared to the version one. So uh, I'm assuming that we'll get some better PIDs soon, and if that's the case, then yeah, well, this ought to be a really good uh, flyer for most people that are looking for this type of HG video micro, you know, with a lot of power. Anyway, uh, here's some flight footage. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.